What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be diving on into Slasher's Keep. They just pushed a beta build out to the Steam branch and this is a very, very good game. If you've never seen it before, this is a humor-laden game, tongue-in-cheek RPG that's played from a first-person perspective. It's got directional combat just like Mountain Blade Warband, which is I think what gets under people's skin. It's got weapon crafting. It's got all kinds of goodies up in here. So we're going to dive back on in for the first time in a year or two to see what's on offer. If after watching this video, you wanted to get the game for yourself, I'll have a link for you down below in the description, like I always do. And then on top of that, there'll also be a link to my Discord and my Twitch stream where you're more than welcome to join me live and in person. Uh, let's go ahead and start a new game. We're going to make a character, so we've got like an Amazon. I'm going to go with the Northerner because the Northerners, they've got a strong appreciation for mustaches. And this mustache right here, that's the that's the jam. That's the that's the that's the dopeness right there. That's the mustache of a man of action. That's what I'm gonna name him to, Action Man. Oh nope, that's action something. That's action comma. That puts a pause in his name. Okay, so he's got kind of a doctor's signature right here where you can't read it, but that's okay. We're gonna put this on permadeath mode, so that if we die in game, we die in real life. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it says on the tooltip. And we'll start it on off because we've only got 25 or 30 minutes to kill. High born by the grace of the gods, no less than a king to be, stripped of your nobility, left to rot by the grace of men. A story of might, magic, and grand betrayal, now reduced to the confines of a clammy cell in the Slasher's Keep. You were to wither away until the years claimed your sanity and ultimately your life, and wither you did, until one day an opportunity to escape presented itself. Do -doop, do -doop, do -doop, do -doop, do jail cell, I live inside. Gonna push the door down so I die. There we go. We're already out. The keys are right there. Apparently the guard decided to take a little breather. It's okay. You know, he deserves his union mandated break. And we've got some britches right there. We've got a flamberge right there. And we've got some pantalones right there. I'll take it. Let's throw the pants on. There we go. Pants. Looks good. Came with a complimentary cod piece. Some very, very fancy man fancy pants. And then we'll go ahead and throw the flamberge on as well. All right, you press the Q key to break on out whatever weapon you have. Uh, your attacks, you can just swing away. But when you block with the right click, you need it to be in between you and the enemy's weapon model. Otherwise, you're going to take some damage. Let's go ahead and crack this thing open, see if there's anything. Uh, there's a little slimy guy over here. Backstab! Sneak attack! Sir, sir, sir. I am damaging you in the face holes right now. Naked mole rat, if you could, I guess he's not entirely naked. Underwear mole rat, if you could fall down and die, that'd be fantastic. Uh, these guys right here, I just kind of walk backwards and swing because I never quite figured out how to parry their attack because I'm a scrub. A little bit of monies right there. One singular money has been added to our collection. Little details in this game, you can step on the spider sprites and they actually like squeeze. It's a thing. I don't know. This game has lots of little attention to detail type things going on. We'll go ahead and block that. I think we can probably get like three attacks off safely in between swings. Uh, there is point damage on these enemies. So like if you hit them in the face, you deal more damage. If you hit them in the back, you deal more damage. On top of that, you sometimes get fatalities and things when you go through the enemies, which is really, really rad. Uh, we've got... Blowed you up. Tee -hee. Uh, you do get bonus XP for using environmental objects to kill enemies. If you press the F key, you see those spikes on the wall right there? If I was to smack an enemy with my bag with the F key, it would knock them back into the spikes. And we get bonus XP. I don't see any buttons or anything in this game. It is procedurally generated. And so... One thing you'll want to be aware of with the procedural generation is that there's also procedurally generated secrets around, like Doom style. You will sometimes see, like, one stone that's sticking out of a wall like Legend of Grimrock, and you can push the stone and it'll be like, something happens, and like somewhere else in the dungeon, like a loot trove will open that you can get yourself into. This game does have RPG mechanics on the UI. You can look in the bottom left, that's our HP. Down at the bottom of the screen, like, right, meh, you can see our XP meter as we level up. We are going to get better at the game. Oh, I got hit right there. Feels bad. He flipped around and swung on me faster than I expected. Eh, I'm getting a little over aggressive. That's my own fault. I should stop getting aggressive. I just, I want him to die, and I want him to die right now. I'm like the J.G. Wentworth of murder. I have a structured beating, and I want to give it to you now. Because Splat likes to kill stuff. 877 cash now. 
Uh, we're a little bit trapped. The door closed behind us, which is unfortunate. Uh, these guys do have like an unblockable type thing that they do where they smack you. Luckily, I can kind of like belly bump him back and out of the way. There we go. Oh, he threw a crate at me, dude. How dare you? How dare you, you absolute knave. Ow, that's the big hit right there. And I've never quite figured out how to block it properly. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Uh, that says that it's got stuff inside of it, but it's kind of hard to say. Maybe that's not destroyable. Oh my god in heaven. Okay, I broke a scaffold and now the room is full of containment measures. Fantastic. Uh, let's see what's inside of here. Anything crazy? Uh, there is an enemy right there. We'll go in on him real fast. Oh no, dude, we've got multi-enemy happening. Basically, I need to... I don't feel like I took that hit, but you know what? Do you, man. Do you. We do get our HP back when we level, so I'm about to get smacked by everybody on Earth. Oh, we killed them both in one swing, dude. I should get some kind of bonus for that. That guy's shooting magic at me over there. We'll deal with him in a second. I'm going to break some crates and see if there's anything good inside of them. I'd rather not deal with you. I would also, like, rather not deal with you, so just have fun being spiked against the wall. This guy over here is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. So this zombie right here, we kind of need to, like, pull him and then throw him into the spikes. The other interesting way that you can use the bag when you smack people is you can use the bag as an animation cancel. So, like, with that guy right there, we cancel that as casting animation, and then we fall back behind this so that he misses... Nope, not doing that. There we go. And we've got to level up. Every time you level up, you get all your HP back and you get skill points. In addition, you will occasionally get perks that allow you to do, like, special things that du their duration lasts the rest of the run. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look right here. So we've got strength, dexterity. I'm going to hold on to these until I actually need to use them. So, like, you do get bonuses from using strength and, like, dexterity and, like, all that kind of stuff. But what it's actually used for is item gating. Uh, so, like, as you find items, they'll be like, oh, you gotta be, like, level 6 strength to use this. And so I like to hold on to my points until I get one of those items. That way I can use them to kind of, like, advance my character in a very, very real sense. Alright, anything inside this room over here? Looks like an end that is dead. Unfortunate. Alright, well, we've got another door over here somewhere? Oh, yeah, there is. I didn't even see that little guy right there. He's squirreled away. Pay attention to your map when you play this game. Uh, it does... Well, that didn't work. I had a plan. Unfortunately, my plan was not that great. Uh, so it looks like the repost ability we've got, if we have a perfect parry, it gives us a damage bonus on our next swing. So that's a nice thing to have. I'll definitely add that to my overall docket of stuff that I can accomplish. Uh, you also have a book over here. Uh, this book is going to allow you to make things like permanent, basically, in between runs. Uh, so you'll occasionally be able to get an ability like permanently, and it like doesn't go away. You can effectively like lock it in. I'm going to move over to here because I'd rather not get shot at this entire time. These guys are going to get stuck inside this hallway anyways. And so they're zombies, dude. They're not known for, you know, their cognitive abilities. They're like the bare basic guys. Uh, enemies do damage each other as far as I know. So if, like, wizard guy decided to take a shot at me right now, it should, like, damage this zombie, I think. Like, bullets themselves. I don't know if melee attacks actually, like, damage everything, but... I'm just gonna kind of, like, aggressively use that corner. That kind of sucks because I can't get his wand now. Oh, there's more of you in here. Okay. Not great. Not perfect. Would prefer for that to go differently, but such is life. Oh, they're splitting up. Okay, I gotta get these guys isolated, like, in a line. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. This little bridge right here is perfect for this. I could kick them off the ledge, but if they drop any loot, I want that loot. Like, we're kind of, like, mostly naked right now, and we don't have any magical items. And, you know, I like to feel the sparkle as much as anybody else. I like to be stylish when I'm inside of a dungeon, you know? I like to... Oh, he dropped the cowboy hat? A trader's hard hat. Okay, plus four armor, melee crit, a little bit of dexterity on there too. That's definitely the kind of thing that I would like to apply points for. So it says I need four strength to wear that. Five strength. Okay, so we'll throw that in there and we'll get like one dexterity while we're on the way. We'll throw that hat on. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this game is when you put on gloves and you put on gear, it actually shows like on your character's hand over here. 
like as you equip it. It's one of those little details that they didn't have to include inside of the game, but ultimately does help the game feel a lot more immersive and satisfying to play. Thus far, we haven't really found anything that looks like a secret location or whatever. So I'm just going to keep on trekking. Uh, we need to go up and around this way, I think. Oh no, we missed a door back this way. Okay, that's where we need to go. All right, Zombos, let's kick it off, man. It's time for another Battle Royale. Get yourselves over here. I will block you. I will then return fire against you. You will accept this. It will be a part of your undead life, okay? There we go. We got another hat right there that's got kind of like a... It's got kind of like a Keebler thing going on. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Uh, enemies do get stuck in things like spider webs. The spider webs in this game are apparently, like, enduringly strong. Uh, so be careful about walking through spider webs. Some of the crates are destroyable and will have loot inside of them. Most of them will not be, though. You'll usually know. Oh, no. Ow. Okay, I'm getting chewed on pretty good right now. I need to start minimizing the damage that I'm taking. I'm, like, way out of practice. I recorded this game, like, a week ago in order to upload it and then was just kind of sitting on it. And then they released, like, the content patch that they put out to the beta branch. And I was like, well, I guess I'll re-record it. But, like, there was, like, a week in between, like, that happening and that happening. So, unfortunately, not playing so good right now. Could be playing better. Always check out these little jail cells. The jail cells very, very frequently have, like, a little button in them or something like that. Because my guess is most players just kind of write off the fact. They're like, oh, it's a jail cell. Like, I don't care. There we go. That was a pretty good opening against this guy. Uh... If in doubt, swing wider than you think you need to in order to block. Like, if you're finding that you're only shifting in, like, a certain direction a little bit and you're still getting hit, swing it wider. Like, that's the big piece of advice I can give you that made me a better player. Uh, there's some healing over here on these shelves, so I'll go ahead and throw that on down my gullet. You can interact with the environmental objects. The drinks do spill. This game is full of, like, little details of, like, a visual nature that I think do make for a much better game. Uh, there's a button right there. It sounds like whatever it is, it did something on the other side of this wall. Uh, the directional sounds are accurate, so if you hear it and it sounded like something happened on your left, chances are it happened on your left. The sound design is actually quite good for this game. All right, we'll go ahead and attack this guy right here. All right. Another zombie bites the dust. I'm more interested in what secrets I may have uncovered, so I'm going to go investigate that. Oh, it's you. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, so this guy, we got to kind of, like, smack him into a wall, and there's really no way around it. Unfortunately, he's going to, like, close the gap with us each time we do this. And so as interested as I am in getting him as closely to a wall as possible, it may take a little bit of time. Honestly, I think I'm just going to eat the hits. With the knockback, it's kind of hard to say. I gotta get him close enough to a wall. Like, come close to a wall, dude. There we go. Perfect. We got him right there. We got some mittens right there. We got some unmagic treaders. I appreciate the fact that they put that right out in the front of the ad. Everybody, listen, there's nothing magical about these boots at all. Stop asking. And we got some more gloves right there with an HP bonus. A couple of amulets. So we'll take a look and see what the amulets do for us. So those are obviously the winner right there. So we'll throw those on our hands. Now, those are actually nice gloves. They're not something jocular like a bunch of spider webs around my hands or like a bunch of toilet paper. I appreciate that. We've got a ring right there, which gives plus one strength, which I'm a big fan of. We've got plus one strength, ranged crit, and we've got melee knockback plus one. I'm going to go for the strength for right now because that flatly increases all of our damage. We do have a really nice wand right here that we'll more than likely want to level into and use. That hat is good if you're using like heavy weapons but for us i don't know if it's that good i'm gonna put on these ugg boots right here because i like having warm shearling tootsies and so warm shearling shield or shearling tootsies it is and we got a couple of different swords over here we got an arming sword you can interact with these weapon racks and they will drop their loot on the ground the loot is procedurally generated so like two swords of like the same kind 
can still end up having differing stats depending. That one does 7 to 10, but it's like the same thing that I have. I guess I could hold on to some of it. Uh, that's the exit to the dungeon right there, but we're not done here yet. I still want to kind of like dive a little bit deeper and figure out what it was that we heard over in this direction. There we go. We'll give him a high-powered sneak attack. Get a little blocky boy off right there. You can already see the strength. It's increased our damage by like quite a lot. We were hitting for like three to four damage. Now we're hitting for five to six, which doesn't seem altogether that great. But it actually is kind of a come up. Big opportunity for a spike right there. This guy's probably going to get some damage off. There's just nowhere to fight him effectively. I could animation cancel him and stuff, but I'd rather just be like, ah, bum rush him like a psychopath. Just ying, 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 ying. When the wizard comes face to face with a melee character and he doesn't have any knockback spells or like CC spells available, there's a whole bunch of food inside of here, so I'll save it just in case we take any damage. There's also a spiky boy. Oh, no. Yeah, this might get a little bit bad. Oh, actually, we're cleaving our way through all right. I thought that was going to go really poorly for me, but we seem to have pulled it off. A little bit more money for the cash stack. We've got a wizard up there. If you want to break out your wand, you press the C key, and you go into basically like first-person shooter mode. You can maximize your... If you want to... It's a little bit of damage off right there. I don't know if it's going to matter, but... It actually did matter. That did a good job. We got another little wand right there, too. Uh, it looks like there's a couple things that might be lootable over here, so I'll go ahead and break them open real quick. Yeah, a little bit of money right there. I'll take it. A little bit more money right there, too. Shops don't start spawning in until the second floor, so until we get out of here, we're not going to get a whole lot of mileage out of our... Not going to get a whole lot of mileage out of our financial come up, you know what I mean? But like, for now, we'll just kind of do the actuarial sciences on it and hope that at some point we have enough. And we did find the exit, but for the life of me, I don't know what that button opened. It sounded like it was on my left, but I don't see anything opened or like ready to be interacted with. So I think I'm just going to move on to the next level so that you can see more advanced content. But first... Snackies. Whatever the hell that was, I'm going to eat it, whatever that is. Oh, apparently it was poisonous and bad for me, so don't eat the rotten stuff. Gotcha. I was losing health momentarily. But the radish will fix it. Nothing cures poison like a well-deployed radish. That's why everywhere you go, assassins, they always carry radishes on them. Don't question it. That's a fact of life. Clanging swords, a shove, a kick. Your adversary falls into the dust. Prince Action Man is victorious, the herald exclaims. The crowd cheers. You're up, my son, King Rickhelm says, giving Bindrick a gentle pat. Bindrick draws his sword and enters the arena. Don't hold back, brother, you tell him. Show me our strength. That's what these tournays are for. In the royal grandstand above the crowd, the king is seated beside him, diplomatic envoys from the Amazonian lands, all watching an exhibition. A prelude to the talks that would shape the fate of nations. It's a spider. Hey, little spider. How you doing? Oh, there's a zombie and a spider. Okay, all right. Zombie has a spider friend. Good to know. Spider friend. Spider friend. Puts a pincer up in my end. Dude, can you die, please? Oh, my God. I was going to try to power through because, like, oh, my. Aw, oh, dude. Close that. Oh, the spider can open doors. He's a genius. Okay, well, I got the potions off fast enough, but we are now in a bad situation. These guys shoot fireballs. So, like, our best shot is just to run in and smack them up a little bit. You do get speed bonuses as well for, like, running at enemies and then hitting them. I'm pretty sure these guys blow up or something after you kill them, too. I vaguely remember that being the case. Uh, did I equip my wand? 
Give me that. Give me. Give me the wand right there. We're just gonna do this from a distance in case they explodes. Us. That worked okay. They appear to be dead. We may have to do this from a range for a minute until we get ourselves a little bit healthier. We do have a chromatic crystal right here, which allows us to refill our wand. It only gives you a couple bullets, but, you know, it's a good thing to have on you. Uh, we do have points to spend, and we do have a kitchen knife for kids. All right, that's a new specialty item that I had never considered might be useful in any context, but all right. A kitchen knife for kids. We now have a kitchen knife for the children's. It's so fast. It's so speedy. So deadly. So elegant. There's oil on the ground right there. Gonna jump over the top of that. Oi, come fight me. That's right, nerd. Come fight me. What you got for me? You got anything? Man, he swings a little bit faster than the ones on the previous floor, too. I am just dropping the ball right now. They're a little bit less predictable, but I can get my block up a little bit faster, which is nice. Anybody else in this hallway that wants to, like, hurt me? You. Okay. Yeah, I can see the hurt in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes. What does that one do? It's fire magic. Unfortunate. I don't need fire magic. I need, like, projectile magic. I need to go pew pew and, like, shoot. We're going to get into the equivalent of, like, a fantasy exploration gunfight here. He's still not dead. That presents problems. That zombie's gonna come hang out, though. Come on, zombie. There you go. I believed in you! I believed in you, zombie! Come back this way, zombie. I'm not up to anything. I don't have a plan in motion to kill you instantly. No, that's something that I would never do. My health is so low right now that I don't want to, like, engage with anything. Okay, giant moth thing. Sweet, sweet. Oh, he shoots the bullets. Is he dead? Nope, he's definitely not dead. Are you firing your own blood at me? That's actually pretty metal, dude. I respect that. We've got, like, a Binding of Isaac thing happening right now that I'm totally in support of. He's still not dead? Well, I guess it's a good thing that I didn't run up on him. Oh, my God. It's a good thing the bullets bounced off the wall behind him. Otherwise, we'd just be in a mess right now. Uh, I think we've got a vendor spot right here. Oh, thank God. You got any potions or anything, man? I need a potion out here. I'm like, I don't feel good. I feel awful. All right, we've got a common lump. It's a mace head. Oh, it's an item build. Ooh, a war axe. That's kind of sick. I kind of want that. Benign sharp thing of greed. It's pretty good. I think I'm definitely going to come back for that. That's a pretty serious damage upgrade. All right, well, let me get some potions first because I just don't like my health where it's at. There we go. Okay, now we're back on the horse, and we can kind of start taking risks and getting on in here again. I was having to play really, really timid, and I'll be honest with you, I don't like playing really, really timid. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, no, the door done closed it. And many zombies are now aware of me. Oh, no, dude, we're dead. Okay, we're going to have to do this a different way. That gives me health back, though, so I'll take that right now. We're going to use this spike right here, and we're going to get rid of them kind of a, a janky, cheesy way. That still counted. I don't know, man. Well, I wouldn't have bought all those potions, and I would have just gone in. See, that one counted as a block, but I'm guessing this thing doesn't parry very well. Oh, my... Yeah, fire another one at me. You are more than welcome to do so. I gotta get the timing right on this. Alright. I don't like this knife. I would like something different. Other than this knife. We are getting pretty close to a level up though, so that's good. I thought I saw a button for a second, but maybe I didn't. Thought I did, but... Man, this is like the health room. Oof, that's Monka TOS. We can't hang out with that. 
How does this game know what my kinks are, though, dude? Like, how did it call it, man? I just, I'm a sucker for green-skinned women. I can't help it. It's like something like a woman with tusks. That's what I, that's, that, 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 that fits my, my programming perfectly. I'd like to pull some of these guys back in here. Even if it means I've got to be a cheesy douche. Yes, come stand by the oddly placed spiky thing inside the room. Not something that I personally would install inside my cafeteria. But, you know. Looks like we can stun lock this guy. So that's good. Two more monies. How much money do I have right now? Do I have 71? I want to go back and get that fast weapon with the longer reach that has like 40 damage. I want that real, real bad. Ooh, invulnerability potion. Yeah, I'll take that for when I get myself into a crappy situation, which is basically an ever Ah, Doom Skulls, no! Bye-bye. Apparently he was a wealthy Doom Skull, so that's good. All right, level up, full health, few more stat points. I'll take it. I love how tight the sprites are in this game, too. Like, they look so good. They're animated so well. A bland cutting part. Well, that gives me 20 to 26 damage, so... Oh, I've got I've to gotta build the weapon. Okay, so, like, I can't just hold the part itself. This crate right here is definitely breakable. What do we got? Anything good? Health potion. I'll take it. Yeah, a little bit of extra food just in case we got to fall back and heal. I'll take that too. Uh, none of the food or anything degenerates or like disappears from the game itself. And so, you know, no biggie. Like, we'll just save it for later. We'll kind of do a run back through the level and heal ourselves if we end up needing it. Definitely want that money. Any more monies for me? No, I'm getting greedy right now. Potions are nice though. Potions are always good. All right, so let's go up, and there's two doors right here. Hello. How are you, zombie? Hello. Nice to meet you. It's not nice to meet you. I'm lying because I'm polite. But, you know, you should always be polite with everyone. I mean, I feel like even zombies deserve social comforts and graces, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't cost you anything to be gentlemanly. Like, even with your weapons. There we go, he's down. Oh, and then the door locked. Oh, hey, what's up, man? It's you again. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. God, so much HP on these dudes. Maybe I am going to have to level up. I think I'm going to have to. All right. Well, we'll put like four points in right there. Oh, there's another zombie that I've got to deal with. Okay. Where were you squirreled away? Yeah, you know, I was hiding out in the cast. I was having a little, having a little drinky drink. You know, taking a little tipple right there. And then uh, heard a fight kick off. So I thought to myself, maybe I'll check in on my undead friends. Maybe throw myself into the fray a little bit. You know, what What goes better with a little bit of drinking than a little bit of fighting? You know what I mean? I like to live my life like Russell Crowe. All right, so let's see here. We're still kind of like in uncharted territory. I do have that magical fire wand that I think I could play around with right now. but I can't get it equipped at the moment because I'm in the midst of war. War and conflict. One thing I do like is how fast you can block with a knife. Like, you can come straight out of an attack and basically almost, like, cancel. Uh, let's go ahead and... Listen, man. If you don't want to fight, you don't have to fight. You can just keep backing up. Ow. Eh, pew. Pew. Okay, all right. He tried to punch me in the face. I successfully dodged his super attack, so I feel pretty good about myself right now. Some nice uh, adaptive... Ooh, the farmer's edge. Dude, is that like a... What is that? Hold on.
It's a component of a short blade. Gotcha. Well, at some point, I'm going to find the blacksmith, and then we can build some of this stuff. But up until I find the blacksmith, I feel like we're sort of stuck. That guy appears to be helping his friends regenerate. Spoiler alert. It's not going to help that much because the random generation gave me the perfect room to deal with, like, a million zombies. So we're just going to kind of, like... I wonder if he attacks if oh he does. Okay, so he's like a he's kind of like a little dual wieldy guy. Alright, well I killed your friend. Wow, I'm taking a lot of damage right now. Okay, uh, let's go in on I didn't finalize my point spins either. We'll take that up. Take that up a little bit. There we go. That'll work for right now. It's not a perfect solution. Invulnerability! Buzz of blades! Ah! Man, that guy is better at fighting than I am. That guy had a serious chin on him. Okay, anybody else want to get involved in the super fun melee fight right here? Don't mind me, I'm just breaking these crates. I don't know what this guy is doing. He's playing a fun game of Shin the Urn. You've never played Shin the Urn? Oh man, dude, it's like... It is a social zeitgeist. If you've ever been to Zaria before, like, Zaria is a pretty cool place. They play a lot of Shin the Urn over there. Just practicing, you know what I mean? You never know when you're going to get called out to a game of Shin the Urn. No wand equipped? Well, here, let me equip a wanda. Does it just refill the charges? Yeah, it's got full ammo. Okay. Hello? Oh, no. This could become problematic. But for right now, I think we're good. I gotta stop going for, like, that fourth swing. I'm just way too aggressive. I gotta stop going for it. Like, just I want to powerhouse through the enemy, you know what I mean? And I want to be a badass, but... I want to be a cowboy, baby. Like, I got a cowboy hat on, you know what I mean? So I gotta get to the riding at night because I sleep all day. Like, there's, there's, you know iterations to this process i think we are gonna have to fall back and use one of those healing rooms we're pretty beat up right now so if i could get like some lightweight ooh, oh yeah the uh, wand when the reloads for your wand they cut they're a speed loader so your wand uses a speed loader uh there's another crate over here though that may have something good in it too so we'll check this before we go any long sojourns I'll eat both of those that should give us a nice little little bit of regeneration it's not much but it's something and then I think I'm going to fall back to that cafeteria room and get myself healed. There was apparently also a button back here that I missed. It sounded like it happened right in front of us. What did it do? Definitely sounded like it happened in here, but I don't see anything different. And I should really start getting some of these secrets. It would be helpful. Got anything in there? Nope. Food! I would, just, I would like for my health to be slightly better than it currently is. Is that an empty bottle? Put something inside of it? Okay. I'll do that. Spoiler alert, it's going to be pee. Because that's the funniest resolution. Yeah, this was the room that had all the foodies. There we go. I was trying to isolate and figure out which room had all the good stuff in it that I wanted. Yeah, now we got some real regeneration going. We got big boy regeneration. Alright, so we haven't been in this room yet. Hello? Bad guys? Oh no, that did not work the way that I intended for it to work. The uh, naked mole rats were slightly smarter than I gave them credit for. Uh, I forget what this thing does. You put items in it and it does something, but I don't recall exactly what it does. It's been a while, and so like I know that that thing does something. Like it has a, it has a useful use. 
Can this guy even be blocked? He can. And there you go. Oh my goodness gracious. Hello, loot. How are you? Uh, so we've got a sturdy Warhammer. Does a lot of damage, but it's got a slow attack speed, so like that's going to take some adjustment. We've got a common prickle, which is not as good as our... Well, it's a little bit more damage, but like we don't get the melee crit out of it. That gives us dexterity 1 and melee speed. Uh, that hat is... Isn't our hat magical, though? Yeah, so I don't want to wear the other hat just yet. Yes, that is considerably slower, so there will obviously be some level of onboarding towards using this weapon. Otherwise, bad things gonna happen. Uh, let's go ahead and I'll grab the rest of the food off the shelves in here. Luckily, the game is fairly generous with, like, healing and, like, potions and things of that nature to keep yourself up on the ride. But, like, my nightmare is that, like, I try to man up, you know, and put some chest hair on this playthrough, and then... Okay, two-shotted. I like it. Like, I, uh, my worry is that you man up and you try to put some chest hair on the playthrough by putting it on, you know, a little bit of the old uh, permadeath mode, and then I die 30 seconds on into the run and feel like an idiot. Like, that always seems to be the way that my luck goes when I do stuff like this. Uh, shrewd Treaders of Piety. They give me an ability called Wand Slinger. What does Wand Slinger do? Wand Slinger... Overall wand accuracy is increased and wands no longer break once you deplete them. Oh, that's actually pretty nice. So I can perma-learn one of these off my items. So that's basically the way that this works, is your items will supply you with various perks. And if you want to keep that perk independent of the item that it's actually embedded inside of, you can take a perma-learn point and you can just write it to your character, basically. Uh, so anyways, this is Slasher's Keep. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this game is a lot of fun. I have a hard time thinking of any flaws with this game. I think it's really enjoyable, and it's a really fantastic roguelike. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. That's about all I got for you today. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.